Council introduced a new bill to better regulate short-term rentals like Airbnb in the city. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman joins us live now from Main Street with what this means for businesses and residential areas. Stephanie? Well, we're out here on Main Street. It's always busy with tourists coming to visit shops like this one. That's why rentals like Verbo and Airbnb are so popular to stay at nearby. But city officials are looking to regulate this, introducing a new bill. This bill was just put out, and that's why they're saying that they want people to talk about it a little bit more because residents are already starting to talk about this with controversy about what's going to be happening in their backyards. Go through a lot of hoops and everything. To operate a short term rental in St. Charles is relatively easy. All you need is a permit. The city confirms there are roughly 60 licenses they've approved, but no, there's more out there. It's just hopping on Airbnb, VRBO. We're guessing there's at least another hundred out there that haven't gone through the correct permitting processes. We expect some of those under the new uh, regulations to come in and go ahead and get a permit. Uh, we expect some of them not to. Total short-term rentals within residential. At Tuesday night city council meeting, a new ordinance for short-term rentals was introduced with proposed changes. One would make it mandatory for homeowners to get a conditional use permit, but would drop the conditional permit for Main Street. Their reason being a vacation rental is a business like any other, such as a hotel or restaurant. Another proposed idea would be to make sure rentals are 500 feet from one another. As long as the owners who own the property are maintaining the property and keep up with the property to where it doesn't become a detriment to the community or this, you know, the immediate area, then I wouldn't have a problem with it. But other neighbors are more wary, especially one that has an Airbnb just across the street. I think residential should be residential because people that stay at the house do not care about my neighborhood. They they go on their lives and go home. Although she says her neighbor's home has never had any issues, she worries the bill would increase the risk of problems such as parties, trash, and in general, taking space away from the residents. Concerns that will be raised as discussions continue. And the bill will be voted on at the next city council meeting. Coming up at 10, just how many of these homes would be available to rent? That amount splitting opinions for homeowners. Reporting in St. Charles, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.